Hey guys, hope everything's good. Well, you know that there are tons of like denominations and many, many different types of Christians. But there are basically two, just two, types of Christians in this world. Of course, I'm not talking about atheists or agnostics because they are not qualified to be Christians. But I'm talking about so-called, quote-unquote, Christians. One group of Christian is those who are actually saved, and the other are those who claim that they are Christians, yet not saved. It doesn't really matter how much they say they are Christians. Only those who can love others despite it all, they would be truly the sons of God. In other words, even if he claims to be a Christian, if he doesn't love others, I cannot really say that he is a Christian or saved. No matter how much he says he believes and therefore renders himself as saved, it doesn't mean that he is saved. We can observe these so-called fake Christians more uh, these days, it seems. Recently, I've come across with hateful hireling calling himself uh, a theologian and a doctor. And this prideful one is full of venom, spewing his lies and false accusations against others and me. Jesus said in Matthew 7, Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. And certainly gossips and lies and false accusations are their evil fruits. The reason why they end up with evil fruits is because they have not received the love of the truth. Because they have not any love of Christ in them, they are so ready to bear false witness against others. As written in Proverbs 6, 16-19, These can only do abominable things that God hates. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devise wicked plans and imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, and especially he that soweth discord among brethren. There are of course those who follow such false ones, being quite blind themselves. Why are they blind? Well, exactly because they cannot discern what is true or false. These usually have not received the discerner of all truth, another comforter, aka the Holy Ghost. Because they do not know what's true or false, they tend to blindly follow the blind, false teachers. They try to find Jesus in theologies and doctrines of man. Sometimes they get it right, and sometimes they get it wrong. Sometimes true, and sometimes false. And because they do not have the discerner of all truth, who would guide one to all truth, they like to seek things that they like among men, theologians, and even false teachers and pastors. These were called, but certainly not chosen. One common trait among these foolish virgins is that they seek Jesus in men. Just like how the foolish virgins sought after those who sell fake oil. They like to please men more than God, and they worship God in vain with theologies and precepts of man. They think studying such doctrines of man is the way. They believe in such theologies as if that's where the truth is. They consider such vain precepts of man as the life. 
How could they ever know Christ in such ways? There is only one way to God, and that's through Jesus Christ. Yet they think they can get to God via theologies, precepts and doctrines of man. And this is why Christ will say to them, I know you not.